All right, I will show you how you can uh, actually upload firmware to the board. Uh, this one is Arduino Mega. Uh, it's like generic version, like copy version of Arduino Mega. You can, and RAM's board uh, 1.4. And this is sandwich panel. Then this should be connected to the USB and to the computer. And also uh, this one, There's a reset button, and then this will be the LCD screen, also controller as well. So uh, first of all, I'll share my screen. I prepared uh, the firmware. Uh, all right, first of all, we're gonna use uh, Rapteer uh, host, uh, I mean, Repteer uh, firmware, and then we're gonna, we can, I uh, will actually later use Repteer host uh, to control the printer and uh, also slide, uh, like slides and control the printer. First of all, what you need is uh, you need Arduino IDE. Uh, the latest version uh, right now is 1.8.19. Download the version for your OS. Uh, I already downloaded the Mac OS version. Once you have it, you can download the Repetier host, the firmware file, and I, uh, I will share uh, the all the list of supplies and the video and everything. But for now, like it's, uh, I will also share it. Maybe when you watch this video, you will already find the link there as well. Uh, and also you cannot just open all the, the files. You do need Repetier uh, info, which you can open it with Arduino. Open it. Uh, oh, wait a second, what kind of... Uh, I think I don't need it. So uh, it's okay, just ignore it. Uh, which file I open? Okay, I'm gonna open it again. Here's a file, uh, we know uh, 1.8.19, all the files, it's already connected, uh, but go to tools. The board will be Arduino Mega or Mega 2560 and processor will be the same and port, uh, it already knows the uh, USB port. Once you have this thing, you can actually uh, compile it and you're gonna compile the sketch. Once the compiling is done, you can upload it by clicking this arrow button, or when you just click the upload button right away, it will do both compiling and unloading it right away. All right, let's do it. Unload, if you do this, and you will see this LED is blinking. There you go. It's unloading the file and it takes a couple of minutes. While doing it, I will do some quick uh, tour of the uh, firmware. Uh, I, this one is the latest version, uh, 1.0.4. Uh, you can also like load the pre, <clears throat> the configure, uh, configuration.h file to like uh, use the previous, uh, like old configurations. So, <clears throat> Today, I'm not gonna go through everything, uh, but definitely this is for the Delta printer. Uh, you don't have to know everything, but uh, this one, the special dimension is really the key element to make sure your printer really works. Uh, you can keep those. Z correction, distortion correction, we don't really need this one because we are not gonna use the heated bed. Go to next step, all the, the stepper motors and depends on the pulley you're using, you may need different values, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, this is XYZ motor, will be all have the same value. Then uh, end stop, like we don't need uh, XYZ minimum, nope. But max stop uh, and then you can keep the setting. I'll just keep going. Uh, use the fabrication, yes, extruder here. Oh, one thing, you know, actually there is a jam detection, but because we are using the wet, we will use wet clay, uh, it is okay. 
then uh, next March, okay, there is uh, uh, other things. I think the next one is, yeah, if there is a language settings. And in this case, you can give a printer name and printer company, etc. Once you are done, you can download it, but uh, you will, uh, I will provide you the, uh, the pre-made firmware. And then, uh, and then you open the Repetir INO and you will, you can unload, go back to this process. You can unload it and you'll be done. Okay, it's done unloading. Uh, for your information, you can go to the uh, Repetir website. Also, uh, there is some troubleshooting. You can feel free to Google it. Uh, if the it gives you some hard time to unload files, sometimes that happens because of the version differences. There will be some changes or error can happen as well. But for now, I actually before taking this video, I did some test of uh, this the latest version of the the firmware uh, 1.0.4 and Arduino 1.8.19 it is working. So uh, uh, if you are not sure, you can actually download the, the old version of the Arduino IDE as well. I think there is some legacy versions. If you download it, uh, that will be fine as well. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen, go back to here. So uh, as you can see, print ready if I reset. All right, yep, it works. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna do a quick test. I need one stepper motor and connect it to X. Uh, like I recommend you to unplug it because you don't want to fry the circuit, just in case. Here, and I'm going to put the end switch as well. Uh, maybe you cannot really see the whole pins, but please check the other video of me going through all the details. Okay, so X motor and X uh, end the switch. So I'm going to power it back. I'm not going to actually put the, the power right now because if something happens, I can fry the circuit. So I'm going to just, I want to do the test with the connection. All right, go to move. There's a move X fast. It doesn't really matter. So max and the stop it off. And I hit the switch. And the stop is on, off, on, off, on, off. Seems like it's working. Then the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power All right, let's really make sure the uh, circuit is working. I will just show you. Go to move from all. Turn in, and when I engage the switch, stop. So it works. All right, firmware is done, and I'm gonna take it out. All right, I think uh, this one is kind of working, and now the next step will be actually assembling the frame and putting things together.